Okay, today is July 5th. Also my parents' wedding anniversary. I mean, my dad has passed away, but my mom and dad got married on this date. I'm out at uh, Eklutna and uh, so I just, I figured I'd make a quick little video. This is the really gnarly washout spot. Um, so that whole area is like eroded, right? But I knew that about the trail, so I wasn't worried about it. So I'm still faster on this trail than I am on the ATV trails. I rode most of the ATV trail until I got to the nice easy section. And then I said, I'm gonna hop on the trail knowing that there's a washout, but I had packed strategically. So for those of you who are into bike packing or wanna learn this, I'm just gonna tell you what I did. I'm a solo rider, so I'm out here by myself. So here's my rig, right? I packed strategically. I packed everything in my frame backpacking pack. I only have a few items underneath the actual cart. And then I have my duffel, of course, and then my bike. My cart is really nice. It's got a quick release. So you just quickly release it, disengage it from the tire. So I'm trying not to whip around in the video. So when I got to the washout, what I did was on the other side, I disengaged the cart from the bike. I picked the bicycle up, carried it over the washout area, carried the bicycle down the trail to a wide path so that I could reassemble everything. Um, and then I put the frame backpack on my back because that's where it belongs anyways, right? And I cinched it up and then I picked up the cart physically, like I picked it up and I carried it do, 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 all the way down the trail and then I reassembled it. I timed myself. I was able to get over that washout area with all of my gear and reassemble in six minutes. So I will take the six minutes that I have to eat instead of doing the damn ATV hill because I hate the hills. But I'm proud of myself because I have ridden most of them. There were two gnarly hills that I just put the pack on my back and I just walked the bike up, I had to. So I left camp at 12.10. I got to the Bold Creek Bridge at 1.30. It was a little slow going getting to the Bold Creek Bridge because I had to take the ATV trails and there's a lot of ATV traffic out here today. Um, and I had to deal with those two really, really gnarly hills. So that's not too bad for me. Um, and then I got here to this spot and it is now around two o'clock Alaska time. So yeah, so that's what I did. Um, my buddy had to ride ahead because she's got some issue with work or something like that. So I'm out here by myself, but I made sure that I knew how to operate my own gear because I knew I'd be doing this by myself. On the way to camp, when we were coming to camp, I had Sarah to help me and that went a lot quicker. But um, all in all, this was not a bad rig. It was not a bad setup. It's super easy to disengage this cart from the bicycle. So it, it wasn't like, oh God, I gotta disassemble everything. All right, I don't want this video to be too long because I know the attention spans of Americans is like nil. So, all right, it's... Uh, a gorgeous day. It's a great day to be an American. Happy 4th of July and happy birthday to the crown. Okay, see you later. Bye.